So in this video, I'm going to show you what point of interest files are with your SatNav, how to edit point of interest files, where you can get them, and how you can use them. I'm going to show you how to download and install point of interest files on your SatNav. Now, the SatNav I'm using is the Avtex Tura 2, but similar uh, instructions will apply to other SatNavs, particularly the Garmin series, which the Avtex Tura 2 is based on. So, what are POI files? Well, they are point, points of interest files and they are coordinate based files that you can download and upload to your SatNav. So, your SatNav knows where to find something and it's useful for locating points of interest, places that you might want to go. It's important to stress that they are coordinates, they're not travel instructions, so your sat-nav will know where the place is, but it won't necessarily know how to get to it. And I would suggest that you always check uh, instructions on a website or um, any other places where you need to know how to get there. Maybe you want to look at Google Earth or some photos of the place before you get there so you know the safest place. Point of interest files won't guide you there. They simply tell your sat-nav where to find the place. Your sat-nav will know whether it's safe to travel across the roads to get there, whether the roads are wide enough, whether uh, the bridges are uh, high enough and all other sorts of things like that. Uh, and that's what your sat-nav will take into account when it tries to find these points of interest. And if a road has the wrong width marked on the map or the details where your sat-nav has got its information from, it won't necessarily know that that road is safe to travel. So always, always double check where you're going and it's safe to travel. Don't rely on the sat-nav to know everything. So points of interest files can locate a place to within around 200 metres of where it actually is. Um, so bear that in mind, it could be on the other side of the road, uh, as we often find when we look for campsites. And the reason for that is quite complicated, but uh, there's a, a link that I'll leave, and all the links will be below, there's a link below from the Ordnance Survey that explains why um, coordinate based systems are not necessarily the most accurate. If you look up a system called What Three Words, that can locate a square of earth that's three meters square anywhere within the world. So if you're looking for something that's extremely accurate to locate a place, What Three Words is the place to go. The least accurate probably is the postcode. Uh, the postcode uh, area can depend on how many people are living in an area and could cover several hundred square miles in some places. So don't rely on postcodes to find a place. And that's why you always need to do a sanity check with, uh, particularly with motorhome, uh, motorhomes and caravans where you're arriving. Have a look at the club website and see what the arriving instructions are and follow those. And if necessary, ignore your sat nav. So let's have a look at point of interest files. And for that, I will need my computer. So you need to be logged into the Camping Caravanning Club website. These point of interest files that I'm going to show you are downloadable from that website and you need to be a member to be able to download them. But I will show you later there are other points of interest files that you can download that are, will be free and don't require membership. So let's have a look. So on this website, and I'll leave the link down below because I'm going to have to type this in. And it's quite a long link. Yeah, so on this website under help and advice travel planning you'll see further down the list are satnav point of interest files so click on that and there are some instructions in in here how to use it so you can see those and what we want for the uh, for the avtex tour 2 are the club sites, the camping and the forest sites, the certificated sites and the listed sites. As it says there. So it also mentions that I need the Garmin POI loader. So let's install that. So click on that link. There are two versions, one for Windows and one for Mac on Windows. So I'm going to download that. Take a few minutes, let's accept that. It'll take a few minutes to download. 
So I'll let that download. Right, so we've downloaded the point of interest loader, and that's not easy to say. So let's double click on that and let's get that installed. It's actually installed on here already, so all you would do is you would go install. So uh, I'm not going to install it. So if I now go into all apps, I'll go to Garmin and I'll go to Point of Interest Loader, which is what's it's installed. And it says this program will retrieve custom points of interest from data files and load them onto your Garmin GPS or onto an SD card where your Garmin GPS can read it. Otherwise, you can save the custom POI files locally to, go to your computer. So the first thing we need to do really is to get the sat nav ready. So let's do that. So we need to switch it on, obviously, agree. So on the sat nav we need to do a little bit of preparation to get it set up. So what you do is you go into the where to settings and go a little bit further down and there's a personalize. If you hit that, that's what appears on the menu. And the one that you want on the menu is custom POIs. I've already got it installed on mine, but you need to tap that if it's not already installed. And what that does then is it puts a custom POIs menu in there. And that's what we're going to achieve on there. So you will have on there club sites and uh, all the various sort of club sites that we're going to download. As you can see in true Blue Peter fashion, I've done this already. But let's go through that. So, so that's so that's personalize custom POIs. And now you need to connect up your sat nav. So plug your lead into the back and plug the other end into your computer. And it will say USB detected and we want to go into file transfer mode. It will do it automatically and speed things up. Click continue. And that puts it into file transfer mode. So back on the PC. Right, so we now need to download some point of interest files. So I go back to the Camping and Caravanning Club website. And at the bottom of the page, it gives us all the files. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to download these files. And we're looking for the CSV files and the BMP files, .bmp, .bump, and .csv. So we're just going to download all of those. Just click on one at a time. They download fairly quickly. I don't need the OV2. Certificated files, certificated sites rather, club sites and club sites CSV. Don't need the OV2s, we'll have listed sites and listed sites CSV. And that's put them all in my download folder. So if I click on this, it will show me those in the folder. Now I think it's a good idea if you move those into a place where you know where they all are. So if I just highlight all of those, right click and copy, I'm just going to put them in documents and make a folder here. Right click, new folder. We'll just call it POI. Return again and right click and paste. And that will copy them all into there. It's just so that you know where they all are. So that's all our files. Now before I go any further, it's important to say that at this stage you can actually edit the files. Um, it's uh, very easy to edit the CSV files. Now the reason for doing that is that the club sites from the Camping and Caravanning Club have got a great big long description that includes a telephone number and the postcode. And if you don't edit them, it will read that out every time it says arriving at. And if you've ever watched any of our videos, you know it's quite funny to do, but it is. it does take quite a time to actually say it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to edit those files. So I'm going to go, double click on the club sites CSV.
and here we are. And you can see that we've actually got just three columns of information here. The first column is one of the coordinates, the second is the north coordinates. So it's saying and that, give, that gives you the coordinate down to 200 meters as I said earlier. So don't touch that, you don't need to touch that, but you might want to edit out all of that information there and I just go delete and you don't need the extra thing. So if you just want it to say Adjuston, I'm not even sure how you say that, I, I might want to put CCC in there. You can edit this to say whatever you like as long as you just keep the, uh, the quotes at the other end. So you would go through and you'd spend a little bit of time editing these files out like that. And I would go through, as you can see, Cabin and Caravanning Club for CCC, CCC. I won't bore you by doing all, however many there are here. I think there's, how many there are? 100 and, 103, 104, 103 sites. I won't do all of them. I'll just do the first few. Then all you do is save that file and close it. And you'd go through and you'd edit those files so that uh, it says the things that you want it to say. If you have a quick look at some of the other ones, camping in, forest, in the forest, sites there, it's got a similar sort of thing on it. So it, when it arrives at, it would say arriving at Old Ridge Hill New Forest SO 42-7QD Chevron 016352. Uh, so you might want to edit those as well. I just want to take out that bit. You can just take out the whole quotations as well if you want to just take those out that's all you really need in there is just the name of the site if you want to you can leave it as it is with all the postcode and everything and then again save it so then you you carry on editing your files until you're happy and you're ready to load it and then what you do is you go to the Garmin loader I've completely lost where I've put it now. I think we must have closed it. POI loader. And then go into the loader and go next. And where do you want to save your custom POIs? Well, you want to put it on the Garmin device. That's the sat, sat nav itself. Go next. And hopefully it's found the device, Avtex Tour 2, and it's got the unit ID on it. Go next. And you've got two choices here. You can install new custom POIs onto your device. And if you've already got some, you can remove all previously stored custom POIs from your device and replace them with the ones you've got here. So if it hasn't already got them, it will replace them with these. I hope that makes sense. So that's the option to choose. You go next, and it says where are the data, data files to be found. So we're gonna hit browse. And if you remember, I put them in documents. POI, and the name for the newly created POI file. Well, I'm gonna leave it at POI and feet and miles per hour and leave it in express mode and it will just uh, just use that i haven't changed that before go next and it says it already exists would like to overwrite the file say yes and then it's it's done it it's basically 20, 200 and 2239 custom poi files and you can go finish and you're finished with the loader now if you unplug uh, your sat nav and you switch it back on and 
then you go into where to custom POIs and these are the files that I will have edited so I'll go to club sites and those are the ones I haven't edited and they're somewhere in there will be the one that I did edit there we are so I edited Alton to star CCC and Ashbourne CCC so obviously I would need to do a bit more work to edit the rest of them but that is your custom POIs and that is where you can locate now your Camping in the Forest sites, your certificated sites with the Camping and Caravanning Club, your club sites and it's also got listed sites as well so those are the ones that the Camping and Caravanning Club list, they're not club sites but they are sites that they list so you've got a whole load of sites in there. Now there are other things you can do with POI files and some websites provide POI files that helps you find some information. Now I found some from a website called POI Graves and that was quite interesting so let's have a look at that. Now they've got a whole list and it sounds like it might just all be about graves but it's not. They've got POI files and they've got a, a list of POI files from all sorts of places. They've got cemeteries, Cordell, that's Welsh Heritage, Historic Houses, Historic Scotland, National Trust for Scotland, Health, National Health Service Hospitals, RSPBs, Steam Railways, loads of useful information. I thought this was a really good useful site. I'm going to have a look at the Steam Railways one. So it's got the information about the POIs for Steam Railways. So if you're interested in Steam Railways, same sort of thing. We want to download the Garmin CSV file. And I think they don't actually have a bump on there. Um, it doesn't really matter. But you just need the CSV file. So we've now got the Garmin CSV files in there. So that's the one. Those are the ones that I want. So I'm going to take those out of there. I'm going to put them into my file where I know where the other POIs are, put them in there and now it will load the Steam Railways uh, POIs. So same thing again, I'm going to go back into Garmin the trouble with the Garmin thing is it closes every time you use it it closes it down. So back into the POI loader, go next, same thing, Garmin device, plug it in, gone back into file transfer mode, wait for it to find it. There we are, it's found it, takes a little while sometimes. Go next, and we're going to install new custom POIs onto your device. So go next, put them in the same folder, and all the settings should be the same. Go next, yes, we want to overwrite it. And it's now installed 2603 custom POI files, and go finish. Unplug your, your, uh, your lead. Switch it back on, agree, go back to where to, custom POIs, and I've now got some railways. Uh, it's got the Strass, Strass Bay Railway at Aviemore, which is where we'll be going soon. And it gives us a route to the Strass Bay railway which Please is brilliant. Drive to highlighted route. There we go. So it's very easy really just need to use it a few times probably watch this video a couple of times it took me a while to figure it out but uh, it is extremely useful. There are some other site, um, sites and um, there are some other POI sites that I found and I will list them in the description below but you've, if you're a caravan and motorhome um, club member you can download the POIs for your Garmin device. The Avstex Tourer 2 actually comes with the caravan 
uh, sites already set up for you so you don't need to do that if you're a Caravan and Motorhome Club member but if you're not you can download them and I'll leave the link to the Caravan and Motorhome Club POIs. There's the POI graves that I mentioned. Uh, <laughs> funnily enough I found a link to all the Harvester pubs uh, if you go on the harvester.co.uk website they have a link to that. There's also the RSPB website as well so a list of uh, reserves and uh, and bird watch watches and hives hides and that sort of thing so that's quite useful and i'm sure there's probably others as well so if you found any other pois um, then you know let me know yes yeah, so that's it for point of interest files i hope you found that useful uh, if you've already used pois uh, let me know if you found any POIs that might be interesting to use. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer it. Um, but it's best to have a look at the instructions that are on the Camper and Caravanning Club, uh, and it will get you. Uh, it will get you going, and it will show you how to install that loader, which you're going to need. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon. Bye then.